Good evening and welcome to Our Lady of Grace on this Feast of the Immaculate Conception. All of our hymns for this Mass can be found in the Brown Catholic Community Hymnal. We have just one brief announcement. Uh, since we're spread out in the church, um, when you uh, bring your offertory up, bring it up with you at communion. The ushers have placed uh, the tables here at the front pews. You can just drop your envelope um, off as you come up for communion. Our celebrant for this Mass is Father Burns. Please join us singing our opening hymn, number 421, Immaculate Mary, number 421. Please stand. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman who you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother, mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens. As he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him, we were also chosen destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory. We who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. For this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible to God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's feast of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary is a uh, special feast as the readings and the prayers of today's Mass remind us, Mary was free totally of original sin and all sin through her, throughout her life because she was being chosen to be the mother of the Christ child, uh, the mother of God. 
And so this is a very special dogma of our faith that we must accept. And interestingly, the United States of America is under the patronage of the Blessed Mother under the title of the Immaculate Conception. And when the National Shrine in Washington, D.C. was built some years ago, uh, the American bishops dedicated it and referred to it, we refer to it as the Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. And so today we honor Mary uh, in this very special way, and we are grateful that you have taken time to fulfill your obligation of being here to honor Mary at this Mass. Uh, let me say make one final comment, and it comes to my mind, and that is um, when Mass is finished and I go to the back, uh, I may not be able to greet you tonight, not because I don't like you, I like all of you uh, very much, but I have another Mass at 7 o'clock up at the Bishop Kinnear Center for the, um, uh, some of the LCE students that's liquor control enforcement. They're going to graduate on um, Wednesday of this week. And the last weekend before they graduate, they stay that, because they go home every weekend from the time when they started at the end of August. And um, they stayed this weekend, but Thursday and today, they had left yesterday morning to go to Hershey in Harrisburg for their driving test and they're not gonna get back until this evening, and that was the only opportunity for those who are Catholic to go to Mass. So I told them I had 5.30 Mass here. They said, we won't be back for 5.30. I said, well, then I'll have one for you at seven o'clock. So I have Mass for them at seven o'clock. So don't think that I'm mad at you that I don't talk to you after Mass. God bless you. Please stand and join me in the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the glory and the Lord of God, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. Loving Father, you ask us to trust in your care for us. Please listen to the prayers we now offer. Our response will be, Emmanuel, hear our prayer. That Pope Francis may continue to encourage members of the church to joyfully share the hope and promise of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Emmanuel, hear our prayer that leaders of nations around the world may always support the dignity and sanctity of human life. From conception through natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Emmanuel, hear our prayer. That young people seeking direction and purpose in their lives may discover their unique God-given talents and the joy of using them to serve him and others. Let us pray to the Lord. Emmanuel, hear our prayer that all members of our parish may heed the call to share talents and practice works of service and mercy for others. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Hear our prayer. For all who put themselves in harm's way to protect, defend, and rescue those in need, 
May God keep them safe as they carry out their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Emmanuel, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, including Marianne Burns, may they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Emmanuel, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you sent your Holy Spirit upon Mary who cooperated through obedience in the human salvation. Hear our prayers today and help us to trust in your plan for us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we present our gifts, please join in singing hymn number 416, Hail Mary, Gentlewoman, number 416. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grace.
graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. So the most pure virgin was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Benedict our retired Pope and Edward our Bishop, 
retired Bishop Lawrence and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. John the 23rd, St. John Paul the Second, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternity.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserved Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May you always know and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Please join us singing our closing hymn number 419, Hail Holy Queen, number 419. Oh. 